unemployment is the last thing that you want to experience after working hard to earn those higher degrees. However, this doesn't seem to appear a major concern if you are pursuing a career as a software engineer. Software engineers are able to work in any sort of industry including banking, insurance, healthcare, entertainment and many more. The growth in the software engineering industry is much higher compared to other industries combined. In any industry you name, software engineers have a role to play. Hello everyone, my name is Shorya Gupta and in this video we are going to talk about why should you pursue software engineering. Software development is an enormous and diverse field that offers a lot of creativity while at the same time it is demanding and extremely rewarding. Most computer science or software engineering students aim to join the software industry considering the factors such as jobs, flexibility, uh, rewarding career options and incredible growth. Many multinational companies and even startups hire software engineers as programmers, developers and automation testers. The massive amount of opportunities experienced in the software industry makes it a great career option for most engineering students. Before we talk about the reasons, first let us know what are the tasks of a software engineer. A software engineer is basically employed to design, develop, test, debug and maintain software systems. Software engineers are taught to grasp and evaluate a problem by utilizing their training, learning, analysis and technical concepts regardless of the specific skill area. They approach all difficulties in a systematic manner, employing scientific methods to uncover many options and answers. Here are the tasks a software engineer generally has to perform. First is design. The company provides its engineers with requirements that are user requirements. You can consider this as a blueprint for the next stage which is stage of development. You can say that most of the software is developed in this stage without writing a single piece of real code. Second is development, where the design is basically converted into the software, that is the design of software with correct implementation using the codes. Third is testing. The goal of testing is to offer information to the project coordinator or the director of operations so they can track the progress of the work identify the substantial problems with the software, analyze how a system will meet critical criteria and decrease the potential menace that can be caused by an imperfect software. And the last one is debugging, whose purpose is to find and identify a bug, isolate it, fix the bug by optimal measures and test the software again to repeat the process till a bug-free application is obtained. The software engineering industry started expanding in early 60s and since then has always been considered as a lucrative career path. Even though there have been irregularities in the software market, the number of college graduates with CS-oriented engineering degrees has seen a steady increase. There is no real surprise that so many students opted to pursue software engineering as a career choice with many advantages and an influx of job opportunities or placements. Why should you strive to be a software engineer? The job roles are fun and here are some more reasons that will definitely make you consider becoming an expert in software. First reason is availability of jobs. Unemployment is the last thing that you want to experience after working hard to earn those higher degrees. However, this doesn't seem to appear a major concern if you are pursuing a career as a software engineer with software or IT oriented degrees. The growth in the software engineering industry is much higher compared to other industries combined. Second reason is the scope for creativity with job satisfaction. The job of a software engineer is creative in its own way. For a given problem, creating the most optimal solution requires creative thinking. Also, you need to think from the client or the, even the end user's point of view and design your software according to their convenience. You always have to come up with innovative and efficient solutions that will make life easier for the end user as well as your life as a developer. 
to start with a blank screen and some ideas or requirements and convert them in a well constructed software application requires a lot of creativity and innovative thinking third is astonishingly vast and diverse field the software engineering industry is so extensive and covers a variety of roles related to both computer application and systems this enables you to work in areas that are that interest you the most for instance you can do coding for the front end back end the database side or one can simply get involved in cyber security or cloud computing moreover in each of these areas you can work with different technologies or programming languages since software engineering is not only confined to the it industry and all modern industries use external or their own software to some extent software engineers are able to work in any sort of industry including banking insurance healthcare entertainment and many more fundamentally in any industry you name software engineers have a role to play fourth is structured working environment as a software engineer you could be working in development maintenance or support projects and each type of project can be set to have its own structure during development and delivery though all the projects work towards this generic goal the project structure varies from project to project based on the project type and requirement however all successful projects have a well defined structure for example development projects most commonly use four software development method uh, methodologies such as waterfall rapid application agile and devops hence you learn to work under different structures and develop a sense of understanding which will suit your goal fifth is continuous learning opportunities technologies are ever changing hence software engineers need to learn and adapt to continuous changing demands and requirements alongside learning new technologies or programming languages a software engineer often needs to upgrade their domain knowledge as the way businesses work is also ever changing when one can keep up with these constant changes this turns out to be a wonderful learning curve this keeps your job interesting as well as keeps your mind fresh sixth is teamwork if working alone is not your thing then pursue software engineering as it is correct career for you software engineer mostly work as a team however few soft skills like being empathetic having good listening skills and the ability to adapt and accept criticism are essential to becoming a better team player seventh is sharpening troubleshooting or problem solving abilities any kind of project you are working on regardless of it being development maintenance or, or support oriented you will come across situations where the systems or applications are not working as intended and need you to troubleshoot them if you are one of those computer enthusiasts who like to analyze this issue in portions and dig into each component understand the issue and then proceed to provide solutions then software engineering as a profession is an absolute gold mine to you eighth is a rewarding career most software mncs in india offer freshers with an engineering degree an average salary of 3.5 lakh per annum and with the right education and experience one can reach a six figure salary within lesser duration moreover with the software industry spreading across the globe if you fancy working in different country this profession can offer you many opportunities to do so last reason is remote work the ability to work from home is increasingly important to job candidates since almost all of their work is done on a computer software developers are often able to work remotely from home however as long as a software developer is able to communicate with their team they can often work from other locations like a shared workspace hotels or even coffee shops this flexibility can make software development a good career option for people who like to travel a lot once you have adequate knowledge of the technology or the domain you can leave your routine job and start working as a freelancer moreover you can start your own company or startup as an entrepreneur 
There are plenty of skills that would require to become a software engineer, both technical and non-technical. So here are some skills that are required to become a good software engineer. First is in-depth understanding of data structures and algorithms, which we commonly call or call as DSA. We know that DSA are the basic building blocks of computer science and coding. Knowing what data structures to use and where to use it, it is a necessity for becoming a good software engineer. It is also necessary to use these data structures in a way that it is most efficient and you would need to be well versed with the algorithms and the time complexity of these algorithms that you use. To learn data structures and algorithms, you can check out the data structures and algorithms course by coding Nijas. After the course, you will be better prepared to crack the data structures and algorithms interview. All courses come with a great doubt support through teaching assistants who will give you individual attention. You will be able to learn and practice problems in a structured way. Next is coding languages. It is of no debate that a software engineer has to know a certain number of languages, be it C++, Java or Python. If it is software that is being developed on a website as a web application, then you might need to learn the languages used on a website as well. Being extremely good in one coding language, say for Java, for example, will make it really easy for you to learn other coding languages. It is basically implementing the same concept, but using a different syntax. Another one is understanding of the concepts of OOPS programming. OOPS is an acronym for Object Oriented Programming Systems. As a software engineer, it is a must that you are well acquainted with the key concepts of OOPS programming. They are inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, and encapsulation. Understanding these concepts will allow you to write code that can be used by software engineers working with you with ease, you can make your code more understandable, organized and even make it reusable. Lastly, testing. People usually look up, down upon this skill, but it is one of the most value ones, valuable ones to have. The software cannot be deployed to the public or the client without testing as this is the stage where the bugs are fixed in the software. The engineer has to run a vast number of inputs and produce optimal outputs for the same. Let's say you have a software that calculates BMI, that is body mass index of a human. Without testing the software with height, weight and age inputs, you cannot find out if the software works perfectly or not. The code written for software might have no syntax errors, but runtime errors might show up and exceptions need to be handled properly in order to ensure that the software runs optimally. Apart from all the technical skills necessary, you need to have good problem solving skills, that is, provide the correct solution which consumes the least resources and the least amount of time. You also need to be a good team player, as a software might contain millions of lines of code, you cannot write thousands of lines of code by yourself and will be compelled to work with the team or couple of teams handling different parts of the same software. So good communication skills are a necessity in order to interact with your team and also other teams. With amazing job opportunities and job satisfaction comes the need to put in some hard work. So here are a few challenges that you might face when aiming to pursue software engineering. First is lifelong learning. For some, this may be stressful. You have to keep on learning because technology, as I said, is ever changing. Moreover, sometimes you have to learn and deliver in parallel. Mostly, you have to put additional effort into learning something new besides working hours. Second is additional work. The job of a software engineer doesn't seem always involve programming or troubleshooting. Sometimes you have to attend long calls, business meetings, prepare documentation and give presentations. Sometimes these may appear unappealing to you. Third is getting stuck. If you don't learn new technologies, you won't be able to progress even a bit. You might be stuck in the same job for years and eventually you might lose one too. Fourth is stress. This job demands a lot. As we know, coding can be stressful. 
the pressure of delivery under strict deadlines adds a lot of stress. Keeping cool under pressure is a key quality that a software engineer should possess. And lastly, it is a highly competitive market. Since it is a rewarding career, naturally competition is pretty high. However, if you can remain focused and determined, be up to date with ever changing technologies, learn new technologies and programming languages, you can separate yourself from others in the market. Now I hope this video was able to answer why software engineering question. If so, do like and share this video. Also don't forget to subscribe to the Coding Ninjas channel for more such amazing content. Thank you.